Aminata Forna groeide op in Sierra Leone en Engeland. Ze schreef eerder twee succesvolle romans over de gevolgen van de burgeroorlog in het Afrikaanse land. It has been said by somebody wiser than me that the purpose of non-fiction is to reveal the lies, but only metaphor, only fiction can take you to another truth. And I think that's completely accurate. Forna was op bezoek bij het hoofdkantoor van de uitgeverij Nieuw Amsterdam vanwege de Nederlandse vertaling van haar nieuwste boek Memory of Love, Fantoomliefde. In the Memory of Love there are these three characters, they're all men. Uh, there's Elias Cole, Kai Mansere and Adrian Lockhart. Um, Adrian Lockhart is a visitor to the country the book is set in, which is Sierra Leone. And he arrives in the aftermath of a civil war. He's a psychologist and he's come to help people who are the victims of trauma. In the aftermath of the war, as opposed to in the war, it's really how a country implodes. I think Adrian Lockhart approaches the country like a lot of Westerners approach um, other countries, particularly African countries, but not necessarily. I think if you're born and brought up in the West, you are very used to being at the centre of things, you know, culturally, economically, you're used to being at the centre. Um, so I think Westerners kind of expect the rest of the world to explain itself to them. When Adrian goes to Sierra Leone, that's what he thinks is going to happen. The country will explain itself to him. But he comes across this silence. Here, the sciences have a different quality, are entirely devoid of expectation. And so he watches Kai Matsure shaving curls of cheese with a knife blade. They sit down to eat. Papaya, says Adrian, recognising the fruit. He's never seen one so large. Pawpaw, replies the other. Pawpaw, is that what you call papaya? Kai Matsure turns and looks at him briefly. That's what it is. I grew up on the, uh, at the crossroads of different cultures, you know, Western um, and African. And so I've got very used to looking at things from two different ways and knowing that there are different ways of seeing. In the memory of love, I sometimes did take an idea, one of which was the idea, which I happened to read somewhere. It was um, an NGO uh, had come up with the statistic that something like 90% of people in Sierra Leone were suffering post-traumatic stress disorder after the war. Now, I completely accept the idea that 90% of people were affected by the war, but when something starts to be pathologized and called post-traumatic stress disorder, you know, at what point do we call, what do you call normal? You know, what do you call ordinary? But we have in the West the ability to uh, go to school, to have three meals a day, to live in safety and comfort is utterly abnormal. Uh, what is far more normal, simply in percentage terms, is to have suffered some kind of, you know, um, either political oppression or climatic or geographic, um, you know, danger, trauma. These things are actually more normal for people in the world. So it's about trying to get people to think about these things differently. Adrian takes a sip of his coffee. I'm a psychologist. The other man looks up from his food at that raises his eyebrows, inclines his head, slowly tilting his chin to one side. Okay. The word is spoken in two parts, split down the centre as neatly as if he'd used an axe, as though he is considering the statement carefully, examining its likelihood. Adrian might just have confessed to being the grand old Duke of York. It's really a book about war, and it's a book about the impact of war, of civil war. So, you know, the closer you are to that, the more resonance you will find in particular parts of the book. On the other hand, I think, and, and Adrian was my device for this, it, he, because he's a visitor to the country, and he has to understand the country in a multi-layered way, uh, I created him in order to bring people from very different worlds into that world through Adrian's experience.